Hey guys, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to tape your trigger finger. Let's get started. So if you have trigger finger, I really like to use kinesio tape or muscle aid tape, athletic tape, K tape. There are so many different types of tapes out there. I really like the muscle aid tape. It seems to stay on the skin a little bit longer. I will put a link below of where you can find this tape. Now, ideally when it comes to tape, you don't want to have to tape yourself for months and months. However, if you don't mind the tape, then keeping it on for a couple weeks while you're trying to let that trigger finger heal, but also still use your hand, this can be very, very beneficial. So this particular taping technique, you're gonna need a roll of tape that is not pre-cut. Everybody's arm and fingers are different in length and those pre-cut strips aren't really ideal for this type of application. Do make sure before you tape yourself that you are free of any lotions and creams and oils because that will help keep the tape on a little longer. Also keep in mind, anytime you can put a glove on to cover your hand when you're showering or doing dishes, that can help keep the tape on a little longer. Now it can get wet, it is made to get wet. You can go swimming, you can bathe with the tape, but I find in the hand and the fingers, particularly because you're moving the hand so much that it won't stay on as long. So any way you can keep it on longer is beneficial. Now keep in mind there are many different ways to tape your hand for trigger finger. This is just one particular technique that I do find helpful. Now the tape usually stays on for about two to three days in the hand and then you would want to go ahead and remove it and you would want to reapply. Now if you don't want to wear the tape all the time then you may want to alternate taping your hand as well as using something like an oval eight splint to prevent the triggering because remember it's really important to make sure you are not triggering, locking, catching. None of that is happening in that finger for at least four to six weeks for it to heal. So to get started, we are gonna go ahead and start on the palmer side of the hand. So we're gonna be looking at applying three different pieces of tape. So say my middle finger is the one that's triggering. So you're gonna measure from the tip of the finger down to about um, mid forearm, maybe even just a little bit longer because you're gonna have a slight stretch on it so it will go a little bit longer there. So that's about one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven or so of these sections on the back of the tape, at least for me. That's gonna be a little different for you depending on the size and length of your arm. So then what you wanna do is you want to cut that and then you want to go ahead and cut that again. We want to make these a little thinner because it's gonna go on the finger. So we're gonna cut lengthwise here so that you have two thinner strips. And then you wanna round the edges just because that helps this stay on longer on the skin. It is beneficial to have some better scissors so that it does not snag your tape either. So how I like to apply this, especially if you're gonna apply it by yourself, is I do like to just do little sections at a time. I do like to kind of tear the back of the tape and just tear the, the back of the tape like this, um, but not remove the tape all the way. And I like to do that kind of in sections just so that you're not fumbling with the tape as you are applying it. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the first part of that tape off. And then you're gonna stretch your finger as straight as you can. And you're gonna apply that first part of the tape on the fingertip. And then I like to just pull a little bit of the tape off at a time. You can just do one long strip if you want, but for me, it's just easier this way. Again, straightening out the finger, applying a little bit of tension, stretching the finger, even bringing the wrist back a little bit. And 
And just do make sure as you're removing the back of this tape slowly, you wanna make sure that you are keeping the finger as straight as you can, the palm as straight as you can, and even into the wrist, having the wrist back a little bit more at a time too. And kind of rubbing that tape along the way just kind of helps activate that glue. And again, you want to just continue to remove your tape a little bit at a time with a light stretch all along that flexor tendon path here. And you wanna make sure you go over that pulley area too, where it feels really tender. And then you just continue all the way down into the forearm. And that's your first piece of tape. And sometimes even just that first piece of tape, you might feel a little bit of lift on this skin and on this area that's usually pretty tender. So then take your next piece of tape and then we're gonna go ahead and do the back part of the hand. Except for this one, we're gonna start with more proximal, so down more into the muscle origin and go up into insertion so we can get more of a facilitation of the extensor tendon. And our first piece is gonna start right kind of down into here, more on the forearm right up in this extensor wad here. And we're gonna rub that. And then what you wanna do for this one is you actually want to, again, make sure you're in extension and even in a little bit of extension with the wrist as you move along this tendon here. And again, we're gonna apply a little bit of a stretch. It does not need to be an aggressive stretch, probably only 25% or so. So continue all the way up the finger, and then what you do is you just bend that wrist forward so you can get all that tape to go along that tendon here. And you should feel kind of a little bit of a springy action. And we're gonna rub that tape in. So now you have tape on the back of the finger here and on the front of the finger. And the finger is gonna just feel better with this tape on. You probably will feel almost instant results just with the lift that the tape can provide. Now we're gonna be adding a third piece, which is gonna be more of a space correction, and it's gonna be right over that A1 pulley. For some of you, you may just be able to just do these two pieces and feel like it's working for you. However, I would like to show you this third piece because for some of you, you may need that just as, a, as icing on the cake. Okay, and so for this last piece, you're gonna want to measure from your index finger to your small finger. So that ends up being about two, maybe three of the sections. And remember, we're gonna have a little bit of a stretch, so it will go a little bit farther around on the back of the hand. So I'm gonna cut myself two sections of tape. And then again, gonna round the tape just to make sure that stays on better and a little bit longer. So I'm gonna actually cut a little bit of a curve here for my thumb web space because, well, I don't want it to roll around my thumb. And if you have pretty small hands, you may wanna just cut a little bit more of this off because it might be a little bit too wide for you. So your piece should look similar to this where it has a little bit of a curve for your thumb web space. So then you wanna tear the back of the tape, but don't remove the tape yet. I've just torn uh, to where I have three separate pieces because we're gonna be removing this middle piece first. So what you do need to do with this, if you're doing it by yourself, you do want to kind of pinch with your thumb so you can actually stretch at about 40% over your A1 pulley. So I usually like to pull it and stretch and then kind of rub that just to get that to stick. If you have somebody that can help you, have them pull it and stretch it and stick it down. And then you wanna go ahead and take one side of the tape and again, just add a little bit more of a stretch, but then the end of, of the tape, the side of the tape, you don't want any kind of a stretch. So you want stretch in the center, no stretch on the sides. And you just wanna wrap that piece around on the back, making sure that that cut that you did around the web space is nice and conformed on the skin. If it's a little long on the back, that's okay. 
and just rub that in there and just kind of gently move the fingers around. Now, I know you might be hesitant to see if this works. So what you want to do is just nice and gently work on stretching that finger out just a little bit and then slowly go into trying to curl that finger. You should notice no triggering with this tape. So there you have it. Now, I know taping your finger like this may not seem like something you wanna do for a long length of time. So I usually recommend you use an oval eight or a brace or a splint as you first are starting to work on healing your trigger finger. So usually for those first four to six weeks. And then when you haven't had any triggering throughout that whole time, but you're wanting to start moving now, but you're a little nervous, that's where the taping really can help. So that can still provide some support to your hand as you are starting to work on a little more active range of motion and transitioning into not wearing anything on that finger. Now, if you are looking for exercises to do for your trigger finger, do check out this video here where I show you my top three exercises for trigger finger. Now, if you found this video helpful, do please give it a like and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And don't forget to check out these videos here that YouTube is suggesting for you. Thanks for watching.